Okay, so just a quick um, update on what's been happening. As you can see here, we have the motor, gearbox, control gear and all back in the car. And I just said I'd do a quick video here. Just the first part of which will be just to show how smooth that the new um, adapter is. So I'm just going to have the car switched on. So I'm just going to press the throttle here. No vibration whatsoever there. The car is out of gear at the minute. I'll try and see the tail shaft here now. That's basically uh, powered with uh, just purely this purely the series field. There's no shunt field on there. So just to get the maximum RPM. That's spinning at about 16.50 now. I could probably balance a coin on the top of this here, it's that smooth. So we're inside the car now. Again, we're just um, out of gear at the minute, so I'm just going to hit the gas. Getting up to around 1500 rpm or so with that and you say there's no vibration whatsoever my hand on the gear shift now it's barely barely feel a thing through that so what I'm going to do now is I'll just go through the gears um, and we're actually picking up more sounds out of the drivetrain than we are from the motor and gearbox at this stage so first gear And changing to second and second gear and changing to third there's third gear and changing into fourth gear I think I missed third that time actually to be fair now there's fourth gear and finally up to fifth. There's fifth gear. Foot to the floor now with just a 24 volt. As uh, practically couldn't tell the car was, well, it's not driving per se, but very good so far. And uh, there we are, foot off the throttle. And I'll just uh, do a little bit of filming here. I just have the uh, RTD Explorer on here on the computer. And see the changes in PWM and that there, I hope. I hope, anyway. You can see the raw data up there as well. Down there we have um, some more data. Heat sink temperature, amp hours consumed and all that sort of thing. And up here we have the Victron Energy BMV system here. Just go through the uh, setup. We can see the pack voltage there. And it dips when I accelerate, and uh, be able to see the current here. Now I haven't got this fully set up. There's our current. It's our battery amps there.
and uh, this is the consumed energy as I said I haven't got it in fully set up at this stage now so that's state of charge time to go at current um, at current drain and uh, again we're just back to our battery here now to say this has to be configured so that it knows the full charge state of the battery so that'll be done when I have the when I have the pack charger installed and uh, so yeah that's about, that's about it um, that's about it in terms of the new adapter plate and so forth um, very happy with it and uh, certainly much much better than the previous uh, flexi coupler that I had in there.